Ready to incorporate an LLC in New Jersey but unsure where to begin? Today, you will learn about the most common ways to start your business, including the correct forms you'll need, how to register your LLC, critical naming requirements, and all other important tips and tricks. Then, as a bonus later on in the video I will reveal to you, a trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free. So make sure to stick with me until the end. New Jersey LLCs are cost-effective and easy to set up. The state of New Jersey, like other states, has several specific LLC requirements. There are three main ways you can start an LLC in New Jersey. First is, the DIY or do-it-yourself process where you mostly depend on New Jersey State's website. The second way is hiring a professional service. That practically offers more efficiency and security in the process of creating your LLC, while the third one is hiring an attorney. We will skip the attorney hiring portion because that's expensive and most business owners won't need that service. First, let's take a look at the steps required for starting an LLC on your own. Step 1. Name your business before anything else. You will have to think of the LLC's legal business name. Each LLC in New Jersey must have a distinct LLC name that is not currently in use. You must include the terms Limited Liability Company or an abbreviation such as LLC. You cannot include phrases such as a corporation, which would lead people to believe you are a different business organization. Knowing if your business name is taken or not is very easy. Just go to Google and type in the words Business Entity Records New Jersey Secretary of State and click the first search result. I also have the link in the description below for your convenience. It will lead you to a landing page of business entity records in New Jersey. Scroll down a little and you will see some search options which makes checking the availability of your business name easier. Generally, you can click the first option, entity name, and type in your business name. For example, I am typing a very common business name here, Carwash Express which will give you a list of existing business names. A unique business name will say no matches found just like this random name I typed in. Keep in mind that the Division of Revenue doesn't check names for trademark compliance. It's ultimately up to you and your business attorney to ensure that your LLC's name doesn't infringe on any other company's rights. Step 2. New Jersey requires LLC to have a registered agent. An agent has a physical address, a P.O. box is not allowed and is available during business hours. This agent will serve as the LLC's primary point of contact for receiving key legal papers, tax warnings, summons, subpoenas, and so on. You can register yourself or someone in your company. But I highly recommend getting a professional registered agent as they have more knowledge by protecting your company in cases of possible cracks. While I agree that family members or friends are reliable enough to be trusted as your LLC's agent, you are more comfortable sleeping at night, knowing that your agent is professional and trained to manage legal documents to avoid problems concerning court schedules, filing reports with the Secretary of State, etc. Besides, hiring a professional registered agent is not expensive. In fact, there are companies who offer a free registered agent as part of your package when you form your LLC through them. Inkfile is a company I recommend, which has this free service. Inkfile offers a free registered agent on your first year of signing up for their service. During that free year, you can already take advantage of a professional and trained agent to receive legal documents on your behalf, a dashboard where you can always access the correspondence that your agent has received as well as email notifications, and automatic forwarding whenever your registered agent receives documents. Step 3. Filing the New Jersey LLC Certificate of Formation after that, you must file the Certificate of Formation with the New Jersey Secretary of State's Business Entities, Division, and the Office of the Judge of Probate to officially incorporate a domestic New Jersey limited liability company. The New Jersey State filing cost for LLCs is $125 for both domestic LLCs and foreign LLCs. What's the difference? Good question. Basically, a domestic LLC means that you are already a resident of New Jersey and you want to build a business in New Jersey. Foreign LLC on the other hand, 
is for people living outside New Jersey but wanting to start a business or a franchise of their business in New Jersey. You can file the certificate of formation online or by mailing it to the Secretary of State. Expect the LLC certification process to take approximately two weeks. This is three to four days for the judge of probate and ten days for the Secretary of State. For an extra 100, you can grab the offer to accelerate the process, which reduces the Secretary of State's filing time from 10 days to 3 days. So if you're in a rush, this extra fee may be worth it. Step 4. Prepare an operating agreement. Now an operating agreement is a good idea to have in place with the other members if your LLC has more than one member. Although a limited liability company operating agreement is not necessary for New Jersey, your operating agreement should clarify how your company or business will handle big-picture issues such as allocating earnings and losses, and dissolving the company. Your operating agreement should also cover the transfer of membership interest, profits or losses and distributions, initial investments, decision-making powers, voting rights, and management, and, lastly, dissolving the business. Step 5. Obtain an EIN. An EIN or employer identification number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS. Your EIN is used by them to readily identify your firm and tax filings. All New Jersey firms pay a business privilege tax and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits or licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to their previous steps. I'm sure you know anything to do with the IRS is confusing. First, you have to have complete knowledge of your LLC, such as your company information, managing member information, business address, business information, company details, and even critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why getting a professional registered agent is way more convenient, as they can do this for you as part of their service. File Annual Reports New Jersey LLCs also have to file an annual report, accompanied by a filing fee of $50 to $75. The report is due on the last day of the anniversary month of the business's formation. For example, if you filed your certificate of formation on March 3rd, your annual report would be due by March 31st of the successive year and each following year. The annual report keeps your business's information, such as your registered agent's name and address, up to date with the state. Now, let's talk about the second option to form an LLC, and that is hiring a professional formation service. Professional formation services do all the steps you should be doing on your own from filing necessary, forms to acting as your registered agent. You usually have to allocate a specific budget for this option. As I already mentioned earlier, Inkfile is one of the best companies out there to help you form your LLC. You can click on the link in the description to get access to this deal. Inkfile is one of a kind as it offers a free package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, you still have to pay $237 for the state fees which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge their service fee on top of state filing fees. Inkfile does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription, and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. Inkfile's next packages are the gold and platinum packages which both have package fees, already on top of the $237 state fee. Each package has its own set of services which are all worthy of the subscription you are paying for. The gold package offers you the benefits of filing reports and taxes for your LLC. Every year, USA LLCs are required to file a state annual report. This report is essentially an information update of your file so that the state knows who is now in charge and how to contact your company. USA LLCs are also required to file state tax returns. To make matters even more complicated, your annual report and business privilege tax share a document and are due at the same time each year. With the Inkfile's gold package, you won't have to scribble notes of these reports because Inkfile will handle the whole process for you.
Your Platinum package also has these services in the bag with the unique addition of expedited filing, getting a domain name, and a business email which essentially increases your LLC's credibility. Inkfile also has an exclusive partnership with Bank of America so you can easily open an eligible checking account for your business. Yes, it is a must for your LLC to have a business account. Remember an LLC has limited liability, for it is a separate entity from its members. You may forfeit your liability protections if you combine your personal and business money, and this is where the term, piercing the corporate veil, comes into play. Piercing the corporate veil is an LLC jargon that refers to the court's action to hold you as the owner or member of an LLC, personally liable for the LLC's debts or actions. Now, if you have been sued by some lawyer who sees a crack in your LLC, they might resort to piercing the corporate veil in which you are in any position defeated. This is why opening a separate bank account for your LLC is so important. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If yes, then make sure to let me know by liking my video and hitting that subscribe button for more high-quality business content.